All right, guys. Uh, welcome back from spring break. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, I got back safely from Canada um, on Friday last week, um, two weeks ago, actually, by the time you guys are going to be watching this video. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a good break and just had a chance to just relax. Maybe some of you guys kept up with your um, exercise plans and things like that. Um, I just want to get right back into it. Uh, we have some things we need to cover, some things that I heard some uh, confusion about over the last couple of weeks. Some people were confused about the basics of our workout lessons and then didn't ask until four weeks later. So we're going to try to sort everybody's problems out today. Okay. Guys, we've got a little lesson outlined here. We're going to talk about hyperlinking. Okay. Some people were very confused about that. I thought that was a uh, straightforward but it's my fault i didn't teach you how to do that so we'll teach you how to do that now because it's an important part of your calendar uh, we're going to talk about some common mistakes made in the formative assessment um, i'm going to teach you guys how to um, download screencastify which is the program i'm using right now and then we're actually going to teach you guys how to use that and then um, i'm going to set you guys up for your calendar for this week your 30-day workout calendar hopefully it's our last one i know i keep saying that but we'll just assume that we're going to be online learning for a while okay so first thing guys hyperlinks hyperlinks are these lovely things where you see my text turning blue and taking you to another most of the time my workout videos okay um for this week, uh, we have three workouts that I've given to you, okay? So you don't have much choice. There is choice within the videos, but we are all going to complete three of the videos, okay? So here's our week, what it's gonna look like. This lesson I am recording now, there's no hyperlink for it because I'm recording it right now, okay? We're gonna do three different videos here. Here's a Justice League Fitness Challenge, Avengers Fitness Challenge, which we'll do on Wednesday live. And then you have a bunch of choices for Friday, but you're still going to use the same process of recording yourself, um, which we are going to talk about today. Anyway, back to hyperlinking. Okay, so if I was doing a uh, Justice League workout and or, or I wanted to link one of my own videos into my document, okay, uh, you need to have the video somewhere either on Google Classroom, which you're seeing here, or uploaded to YouTube, which is very easy. I hope most of you know how to do that. If you do not, choose the Google Classroom uh, route, okay? So I'm just gonna give you a right click here. You get this comes up, all right, it says get shareable link. Now one thing you have to make sure guys when you're doing get shareable link is you have to make sure the sharing settings are open. It says anyone at Chadwick School can view this. I usually like to go in and go one step further it's up to you. Sometimes the at Chadwick isn't enough, okay? So everyone can view. You can go more, all right? I usually like to put anyone with the link can view, okay? And save the settings, all right? Now you can go copy link. It's on your clipboard, and you can go done, all right? Now that you have copy link finished, all right? That's one of my runs in Canada. If any of you guys watched, that was on my calendar uh, a couple weeks ago. Now you're going to highlight the text that you want to link to. And then you're gonna go right up here. All right, maybe I'll use one of these. Uh... Oh no, I don't need to do any of that. We'll talk about that later. Insert link. There it is. This is the text that I've highlighted and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go Command V, which is paste and apply, okay? So one more time real quick, I can actually change that if you like. If I wanted to link to a Justice League, I'd go up here. I would highlight this text. I could go Command C, which is copy. I'll go back into my top, my, my uh, document and I can actually change this if I'd like. Okay, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna go Command V and now it is linked to a Justice League video, as you can see right there. Okay, so for those people who are really struggling and have big, long YouTube addresses or Google addresses in their calendar, go back. All you got to do is copy, paste, insert link, and then you can link it to the shortest word. You can even link it to one letter if you want. I have an H right there. I still have it on my clipboard. Look, linked to H. 
and I can go like that, apply, and there's a link. Okay, so that's how to hyperlink. All right, uh, we're gonna jump over to some of the mistakes made on the formative video analysis. This is gonna be, guys, for you, uh, most of you, this is just gonna be the feedback I'm gonna give for this formative, okay? Um, I don't really wanna go through every, everybody's individual um, um, documents and videos. Uh, I have looked at a lot of them and I've come up with the very, two really big mistakes that people have been making, um, which are kind of surprising. Um, so in order to start here, I just wanna go back and remind everybody about when we start units, guys, we have concepts and we have certain things that we are learning, okay? So when I give you skills um, with very specific vocabulary, like passing, dribbling, and shooting, okay? I expect you to use those in your descriptions, okay? When we're talking about V cuts and backdoor cuts, you use those as your descriptions for your systems. What a lot of people, unfortunately, got into is just watching the video and trying to explain what was happening without using or identifying any of the systems. Now, some people are going, wow, why would you do that? Okay, that's the exact way I felt, okay? So if you feel like you're one of those people who did not put in any of the vocabulary or systems into your examples, then you need to go back and take another look and try again, okay? So in my example here, I'll go over it again with you. I chose the attacking system, all right? The first one, guys, was an offensive system by the attacking team. Some people also chose to identify a defending system here. That is not what I've asked. Please do me a favor and read clearly the instructions that I've given. Even maybe go back and you can watch the video that I've already explained how to complete this assessment. So, here you can see I've highlighted some of the important words that I've used here. Screening was the offensive system or tactic that I, I talked about in this. I use the word defender when talking about team. I use the word dribble when talking about some of the skills that were happening. Okay, I use screen again here. All right, some people did not use or identify any of the things that I've asked. So the focus of this was you needed to identify a system. So if you didn't identify a system, you have not completed the task. For the defensive one, okay, again, you need to identify a defensive system, not just tell me a story about what you think is happening on the screen, all right? Now here, I've chosen to identify a man-to-man -man defense. I've even used the word defensive system here, okay? Now, again, guys, highlighting your work, making sure that you're doing things properly, is still a very good strategy for you to use. If you go back and read through your work and you have not identified a system or you're using made up words to describe things, you are gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Go back, highlight the things that you think um, you could, you've identified, okay? Based on the things that we're learning. Don't just make up things that are happening on the videos, okay? Another thing we talked about was I need to know when all this stuff is happening. Okay, if you just put a picture up with nothing identifying anything and a, not a very good description of when this happened, I can't go back and check if you are correct or not. Okay, so this is called a timestamp. Okay, you tell me when in the video it happens. If you go back and look at your formative and you have not done any of these things, you will need to do that. All right, I'm not gonna have time to check all of them in time. So this is my feedback to you now. You will be completing a summative assessment in this very similar way. So if you do not understand something or you haven't done it, go back and try again. All right, so. We've got hyperlinks are ticked off, good. We've taken care of this 
we're talking about vocabulary, I'm going to add in something, timestamps. Okay. Talked about timestamps. Good stuff. All right, let's get into the tough bit here. All right, we're going to talk about screen castify. All right, I'm going to leave that one open. Okay. So guys, this week, you can see here, the first thing I want you to do on Monday is get Screencastify, or you can watch the intro lesson first. Maybe I'll switch that around. it will help you out a little bit more, okay? But if you click on this link here, it's going to take you to Chrome Web Store, okay? And what I want you to do is yours will say download because I don't have it or you don't have it yet, or you may not have it. Maybe you do. If you don't, go ahead and download it. What would also help is once you've downloaded it is to watch the tutorial video that they're talking about here, okay? Please watch this, all right? This is gonna help you out. We're not gonna watch it here together, but my instruction to you right now as you're watching this lesson, go ahead and watch this video. This is the Screencastify overview that can help you out with some of your questions, okay? So, once you get that, guys, it's going to show up right up in here in the top right corner. You can see mine has a little red dot right now because I am recording at the moment. That's what I'm using for all these lessons. Okay, so that goes through download. All right, the video will show you how to use it. But also there's an option here, and you can see that in the bottom corner I have my webcam. All right, now this is going to be the most important for you guys. When you click on this, you have an option, okay, to record with your webcam uh, embedded, it's called, embedded. Okay, once it's embedded, all right, and you start recording, your little screen shows up down here. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can tap and drag it anywhere on the screen you like, okay? So you can make sure that you can see what you need to see on the screen but also you can see yourself. This is gonna be the biggest important thing for what we do on Wednesday and actually what I'm gonna ask you to do today to record your first workout, okay? So um, I've given you a link here. You can go ahead, go in, and it's gonna come up to this Justice League workout video, all right? Now, once you have your Screencastify started, okay, you might want to have your little embedded webcam down here in the corner. You can maximize this screen, okay? And you can put it wherever you want. And once you start the video, all right, what I want to see in this area is you following along with the video, all right? There's some really great countdowns and rests. These are high-intensity interval training videos, which are also known as HIT, okay? and they have a pretty cool theme, all right? So here we are. Now, I've got my webcam up here blocking a little bit. This is Superman's training for the first one. In these videos, you get to choose one of each of these exercises, and I wanna see you doing it for 40 seconds. Now, I'll see you doing it in this screen here. What I've done already, guys, is I've done a little bit of an example. It's pretty sunny in my apartment right now, so it's really tough to see. But I've done an example here of a castified lesson already. So you see, I've set my camera up where I'm going to be able to see myself doing the exercises. I've started my video. I think I've started it, at least. All right. Resizing my camera or my embedded moving it around to a place where I think it's going to be good. And then when I think I'm ready, I press play on the YouTube channel and I can see myself waiting for the countdown. And here we go. Now, I've chosen to do squats with punches. Okay, this is an Avengers workout, I believe. Okay, and there we go. That is the example. All right. Once you have that recorded, guys, it's going to take you to a list of 
the um, videos that you have done, okay? Um, what do I got here? My recordings, okay? Now, here are all my lessons. Once you're done with your video and you go up here and press stop on your screencastify, it will automatically save or give you that preview that we were just looking at, okay? Where you can change the title, all right? You can share it to Classroom, you can publish it to YouTube, so you automatically have um, a link, or you can even download it to your computer, okay? So this, is, guys, this, this app is gonna help you out with not just probably PE, but a lot of different things. It's a pretty good tool. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'm not very good at functioning with it yet, but I'm getting there. Also, what it's going to do is in your Google Drive is going to make a folder. Right here, you can see Screencastify. If you ever need to go back and find your screencasts, they're all in here. Okay. So I hope that is clear enough. Um, let me see what I've got here. So we've talked about downloading it, right? We know how to record with a webcam embedded. That's going to help you uh, watching that video, tutorial video or intro video of Screencastify will help you out with that. And then saving and locating videos is what I just talked about. All right. Um, one more thing you guys are going to have to do in your um, workouts this week. All right, is you're going to have to kind of reformat your um, calendar. Now, guys, I don't mind at all if you just highlight everything, Command C, copy, and then go over to your own document and Command V, copy it right onto yours. Okay? Now, of course, yours is going to look a little bit different when it's all said and done because in here you guys are going to have your links you can just link it straight into there if you like remember we'll go find our video all right if we want to find our video on here here's my workout example find my video again hyperlink it get shareable link okay you might have to turn the sharing on again we'll go sharing settings more anyone with the link can see it save Copy link, lots of steps, guys. I do this a lot, you can see. So I'm, I'm pretty good at it at this point. And then I would just hyperlink it into my calendar. Boom, it's done. Let's see if it works. Click on it. Does it go to my web recording of my workouts? Let's see, and yes, it does. All right, so. Today's lesson, just a little bit about how to use Screencastify, hyperlinks, and a little bit of formative feedback for everybody. So everybody go back and take a look at your formative assessment, okay? Some people have not handed it in yet, which is a little bit of a worry, okay? Um, but yeah. so. If you have any questions, please contact me, uh, Hangouts, email, and um, we can go on from there. Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck this week.